Hello YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors! On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we will be taking a look at a character from one of the recent waves of vintage collection figures for 2024, Kanan Jarrus from Season 1 of Rebels. There was a time long ago in a galaxy far, far away when the Rebels characters did not exist in the vintage collection. Sure, we had some 5 POA versions, which were okay at best, but these characters deserve to be on a vintage style card back and have fully articulated figures for us to add to our shelf displays. And thanks to the successful HasLab Ghost campaign, we are going to properly world build our collections with Rebels characters and hopefully much more. Additionally, I want to thank everyone in the community who supported the HasLab Goes campaign and made that vehicle become a reality. I also want to thank the SWTVC team for holding the March Madness bracket every year. And these characters were always pulling high and showing their demand in TVC. So thank you for all of that as well. But with all that said and done, let's take a closer look at Kane and Jarrus from Season 1 of Rebels. Taking a look at our vintage style packaging, we have the Star Wars and Rebels logo prominently displayed up top, followed by Kanan Jarrus on a spring green name pill color. We have a wonderful image of the character from season one of the animated series with his saber ignited and aboard the original Phantom Shuttle, with the Kenner logo placed nicely down below. And lastly, we have a wonderful fully articulated figure on a bubble with lots of different accessories. We have his blaster pistol, saber, and unlit hilt. On the back, he is VC 318 in the line, Kanan Jarrus, and we have a small description of the character followed by the Vintage Collection logo placed down below and additional images of the card and figure placed on that nice green background. So all in all, this is going to make an excellent addition to our carded collections, and I'm really happy that Hasbro was able to get the Season 3 and 4 looks out with the Ghost, but get the Season 1 looks out for the main line. I really look forward to seeing Season 1 versions of Hera, Sabine, and of course, Young Ezra. Taking a look at Kane and Jarrus out of the packaging, I have got to say that Hasbro has done a remarkable job with this realistic interpretation of an animated character. This is going to be such a good addition to the collection. Kanan's hair seems to be sculpted on rather than a separate piece and is actually a darker color than his goatee, which doesn't really bother me, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Taking a closer look at the paint applications, they have been done very nicely. There's no sloppy paint work. And then you can see that nice pop of green color in his eyes, which is just fantastic. You unfortunately don't get to see that in later seasons because he's blinded by Maul, spoiler alert. But this is just such a great addition to the line and I'm very happy with what Hasbro's done here in terms of sculpting. Taking a look at the articulation, Kane and Jarrus will have everything that an Order 66 survivor needs to evade the Inquisitors during the height of the Empire. He has the new style barbell hips, which is fantastic, a swivel at the thigh, ball jointed knees, and rocker ankles, which will just give you all that lower leg articulation to put him in Jedi stances. He's got fantastic articulation on the uppers. His elbow can do pretty much a 90 degree bend. He's got a hinge at the wrist, which is fantastic for aiming the pistol. And then he's got the soft plastic armor, which is just a delight because it doesn't hinder that movement and allows him to raise his shoulder very nicely. And then, of course, this other shoulder does very well. It doesn't have any armor. And it's also got an additional hinge here that goes forward for the saber. So really good stuff there. He's also got a nice crunch at the ab, which will allow him to like lean back or forward. And yeah, this figure just feels fantastic. Additionally, the soft plastic on his holster is really good. It won't hinder the movement at all. And and yeah, all in all, this is looking like a really good figure and a nice addition to the collection. Naturally, his blaster fits very well into his holster and stays nice and snug, so you won't have to worry about losing it or anything like that. And then the saber hilt clips into his belt and also stays very secure. The belt itself has some pretty decent detail considering it's a soft plastic. It's got a couple paint hits there of silver. And just all in all, this character has a lot of good sculpting on him. Uh, I will have to get another one of these just to customize it myself because his season two look has a bit of a battle damage here on his armor from when he faces off with Vader. So that's something that I want to add to my collection. And I don't think Hasbro is going to go out of their way to just give us a slight repaint of that. But who knows? Maybe they will. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this character. Lots of great sculpting here and just it feels like a proper action figure in my opinion. Each new vintage collection figure continues to exceed my expectations, keeping 375 alive and well, but also frustrated as we need more of these all new figures released in a year. As many of you know, the wish lists are endless. This Order 66 survivor was once known as Caleb Doom, 
Padawan to Jedi Master Depa Balaba, but would later aid the rebellion against the Empire as Spectre One, Kanan Jarrus. Moving fast was the only way Kanan knew, and this latest and greatest vintage collection figure is a prime example of what an Order 66 survivor is capable of on the battlefield. Kanan Jarrus comes fully loaded with all the modern articulation that TBC fans are more and more familiar with on these all new from the ground up figures. Armed with the now standardized modern barbell hips, ball jointed everything, hinges of the wrists, and rocker ankles, Kanan Jarrus will pose effortlessly and make for a spectacular addition to your collection or shelf display. Furthermore, the photo reel and paint applications are executed with clean hits of paint, and when combined with the sculpting on this action figure, it is simply top notch. And I absolutely cannot wait to see more Rebels characters make their way into my collection room. Once a Rebel, always a Rebel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at one of the latest vintage collection figures for 2024, Kanan Jarrus from Season 1 of Rebels. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps and is always greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone and may the force be with you.